lunch with my dad and my brother. So as you guys may or may not have noticed, I've been slacking on the posting the last couple of days. And I know it probably doesn't show up on camera, but there's a small, like, fog in the air. That is because pollen season is among us. It is one of the worst times of the year for me. I get all kinds of groggy. I feel like crap. And uh, it gets all over my bikes and stuff, man. My, my eyes just like, oh, they feel puffy right now. But it's all good. I just, I was heading to lunch and I, I just had to take the bike out. All right, let's see, that was my first real run with a tag holder like that. Yep, it's still there. I took off that uh, the axle mounted tag holder because I didn't like it. It was a little loose for the bike. It didn't fit perfectly. It kept like loosening my chain as it would wiggle around and uh, ain't nobody got time for that when you're riding 160 on a sports bike. So I moved it. Right now it's held in with zip ties. But I mean, that was just a pretty quick run right there and it didn't do anything. It looks like it's still good. impressed at the number of times I almost hit dead animals in the middle of the road. Happens a little more than you would think. stunting out the, v, uh, the FZ07 and stuff, but uh, it looks like that's going to have to be put on hold a little bit, solely because I'm going on a trip to Panama City soon, and that is the only bike that has a passenger seat on it, because, uh, you know, I did the whole passenger delete, and uh, so I'm actually going to hold off a little bit until after that trip, then I'm going to rip all the fairings off. That's not going to stop me. Uh, the stump spot I, I want to go use, it's not that maintained and it's a little dirty. I'm actually going to go right out there, maybe even today. That might be uh, the next video I shoot today after this one. And uh, I'm going to go bring a broom out there and sweep it off. And I've also got my brother's four-wheeler. It's a manual and I want to kind of learn, we, we were going to try to learn how to wheelie on that first. Yeah, because you know it's a little bit more stable. Blinker is on like a noob. Yeah, guys. Since I uh, I'm just selfless wheeling and I can't do clutch ups to save my life. Uh, I figured that'd be a good place to start. Uh, my brother doesn't care as much if that four wheeler gets all busted up as much as I would care if I you know looped the FZ trying to learn clutch ups. Especially low speed clutch ups in a parking lot. That's what I want to learn to do. More stunt, less like, you know, like downshift and do it damn like how they do like 80 mile an hour wheelies. I don't want to do that as much. I'd, I'd be more happy if I could like pop a wheelie in first gear and like spin a circle at a red light. That's the kind of thing I want to be able to do that I think would be cool. So I promise wheelies are coming soon. And uh, I'm going to try to share as much information from a like beginner standpoint. Because every video I've watched, it's from someone that can like, you know, crush wheelies and do them really well. Well, every time they're explaining, they're not going over the simplistic parts that I, I really need. They're just like, you know, you just pop the clutch. Well, popping the clutch isn't as easy as they make it sound, you know. I mean, sure, you just let it go, but it's a little bit, it's a little bit different. I mean... 
you want to hold on and I, I've been working on some two fingers this this clutch is a little tight for one finger for me I think I can't I can't get it to come in good enough oh there we go I, I can barely get it to come in you can watch the gear indicator and when it goes to that minus sign is see it's not even yeah there it's just barely engaging with two fingers and I, I'm trying to get used to shifting with them but it's really hard. I think I can adjust the lever a little bit. I might do that. Which, I mean, I think that's good practice anyways, is learning how to use two fingers instead of... I, I use three. That way you're able to hold on with more fingers around the grip and not come off. I've also, maybe if some of y'all can explain this to me, I've seen some bikes... It, you know how a four-wheeler throttle has a thumb little button instead of like a twist? I've seen a lot of bikes that have that. I thought that was pretty cool. Never really seen that before. Alright guys, we're gonna hop up in here in a Zoomies eat or sushi and I'll see you after. Oh my gosh, my bike is so dirty man. There's so much pollen on here. So change of plans, I'm actually not going straight home. My brother uh, needs help. My mom lives by here and she's got a couple of mats for his little home gym that we're building. And I'm gonna go help them pick them up because they're heavy as crap. Look at this, man. Uh, so much pollen. I hate pollen season. Man, when I haven't ridden for a few days and I finally get back on the bike, it is a good feeling, man. I just, I hate when I haven't been riding, but this pollen is just, it's too much for me. The second I walk outside, I like, I can feel myself breathing it in. Okay, I'm gonna help my brother out guys and I'll see y'all in a bit. Alrighty guys, so I'm finally headed on home. I'm gonna head home, get changed, and go to the gym. Man, I tell you, especially lately with the weather like this, it's been super difficult trying to, you know, guess how to go out riding. I'll leave somewhat in the morning It'll be kind of chilly, I'll have to put on uh, all my gear and everything. And then uh, as the day progresses, it's getting hotter and hotter. I'm literally dripping sweat right now. And all I have is my, uh, I have my full leather jacket and sweatpants on and I am just so hot. So I'm gonna look into getting me a, uh, a summer pair of pants and a summer jacket so that I can be safe. Alrighty guys, so I've been talking to Dan about it a little more and more lately. If you guys want to see it as bad as I do, go over to Dan's re most recent video and tell him to race a spin with Finn. I want to see it. The ZX10 versus the CBR. It's a uh, throwdown in the making. You know, of course I'm voting my bike. I'm sure he's voting his. Let me know down in the comment section who's going to win it, guys. What do you think? What's your guess? be 100% honest, I'm not going to lie. I'd be impressed if I won. He's got a whole lot more driving experience uh, than I do. Uh, a lot more racing experience. I've never really raced on a sports bike that much. I mean, I've raced cars and like, done my like, quicker takeoffs, but that's about it. One thing I also want to see, I know it's not my car, but I drive it a little bit. That Hellcat, my father's Hellcat, that thing is a bad mama jama. I also want to see a race between that and Dan's Corvette. Which I'm not as excited about that because it's not my Hellcat, at least not yet. I'm really hoping when I get home my tag's still there. That, that'll be very depressing if I don't have one. It'd be even more depressing if I find out the hard way and get pulled over for not having a license plate attached. Phone down, dumb bitch, and get out of my way! Ah! Don't make me flick on that rage road. Ah! That was only a little bit of it. You don't even know. Too slow. 
Like, Jesus, do not go to the same speed as the person next to you. That shit pisses me off. guys if you've enjoyed this video whatsoever let me know by hitting that thumbs up button and uh, if you have not already please subscribe I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys and until next time peace